certainly has turned out to be a quiet summer in America's major league ballparks, but in America's movie houses this summer, there's plenty of action. What does all this mayhem mean? Money. The movie industry is having what Hollywood calls a blockbuster summer, according to the film industry reporter for the Los Angeles Times. I think the baseball strike has helped the movies. People have a little more time on their hands. And I think you have a lot of films that it came out at one time that people wanted to see. Superman 2, for example, to quote one trade paper, the Hollywood Reporter grabbed yet another gold ring off the box office merry-go-round as it captured the all-time industry record for a single week, Here, chalking up nearly $25 million. Raiders of the Lost Ark, an adventure film reminiscent of the cliffhanger weekly serials of the 1940s, has been, according to Variety, pulling Zowie box office, grossing nearly $35 million in its first 17 days. Of it now. <laughs> Nobody. Cannonball Run, a film designed to give highway safety experts fits, brought in nearly 19 million in its first week. It has to do well because of its expensive cast, which includes Burt Reynolds and this chap. I must warn you, I'm Roger Moore. Who? Roger Moore. <laughs> Roger Moore fares better in this movie. The newest James Bond epic called For Your Eyes Only. Its first weekend brought in nearly seven million. What accounts for this box office bonanza? Is it simply surplus baseball fans? Or is Hollywood doing something differently? The movies have finally succeeded in doing what television has done. They've sought out the lowest common denominator. The formula today for making money in Hollywood seems to be light, escapist, fantasy adventure. For Hollywood, which has been plagued by the reality of strikes and rising costs, a formula for success comes none too soon. Spectacular failures, such as the $40 million Heaven's Gate, have spurred predictions of doom for the movie industry and raised questions about Hollywood's economic survival. No! Don't do it! But with the help of Superman and the baseball fans, Hollywood has not struck out. Superman is dead! Wrong. Superman lives, and so does Hollywood. Stephen Gere, ABC News, Hollywood.